Giallo is a 2009 crime thriller film by legendary Giallo filmmaker uh, and director uh, Dario Argento. Now I knew going into this film that it was going to be awful, but I did not. I was not prepared for how awful this movie is. This movie is so boring and generic, and just it's just it has like no life to it, and it's just really shocking that someone who made so many stylistic Giallo films back in the 70s and 80s would make something so terrible. But basically, this one is about Enzo. He is a detective who's after a serial killer, um, and he's a vigilante of sorts. He likes to go around. Um, uh, on his own, basically, and like sometimes kill serial killers. Uh, meanwhile, the, um, the the main woman, whose name I cannot even remember, played by uh, Elsa Pataki, she is basically abducted while on the phone with her sister, and the vicious killer known as Yellow has abducted her in a special cab. So now uh, she shows up at the police station and teams up with Adrian Brody's Enzo character to find the killer because he likes to uh, sort of torture them for a bit and then disfigure them, mutilate them. Uh, and, you know, we get a little backstory of why Enzo is like a vigilante killer. And we also get a little bit of backstory for the killer. And both of them are very standard, boring flashbacks. The movie's well shot. I mean, it's got that going for it, but literally nothing else. Um, the movie has Adrian Brody, but he's sleepwalking through the film. And the movie's also notorious for being delayed, uh, being released because he never got paid for the film. So he, he sued them because they owed him a mil He owed them like, or he was owed like 636 um, thousand pounds, a little, a little under a million dollars, but he never got paid, so he was able to block the film from being released. But eventually he got paid and they released the film, and it was awful. Um, the movie is more known for that than being a good movie, and this movie is just terrible. It's shockingly brutal and violent and sadistic for no reason, no style. And the story is just bland and boring. If you just said this was not a Dario Argento, it would just be another bargain basement uh, killer flick. You know, it has like no panache, no like unique identity. It just feels like the most generic serial killer story you could come up with. And um, I, I really hated every like second of this film. So I give Giallo a zero out of 10. It's definitely uh, Dario Argento's worst film. At least if you watch Dracula, you can laugh a little bit at the weird special effects, but um, this film is easily the worst Dario Argento film in my opinion. Zero out of 10.